All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to make the simplest loading indicator possible in Swift UI. We're going to use just very basic shapes and a few modifiers uh, that should get us there where we need to be. So you start a new project, uh, call it anything. And we're going to start right away by deleting the text, uh, hello world, and we're going to replace it with a circle. That circle is gonna have a few modifiers that are gonna turn it into a loading indicator. The first one is a trim from one half to one, which will leave us with half a circle. Then we're going to do a stroke of width about 10 uh, pixels. And then we're going to say the frame is going to be uh, 150 by 150 pixels. That's going to give us half of a circle and a stroke of the outline of that circle as uh, the basis for our indicator. And if you build the app, you should see that in black because that is the default color. But of course we can change the color later if we want to, but for now we're gonna skip that step. The next thing we need to do is start with a rotation effect. This is something that needs to be a uh, type of double. Uh, we're gonna say 360, but here's where the magic happens. This is the value that's going to change. We're gonna change this from 360 to zero and back again. And then we're going to be allowed, uh, when we animate that, it's going to look like a circle. So we need to make it into a variable that's going to change. Uh, and the way we're going to keep changing it is with the on appear. On appear, every time this image appears, we're going to switch the values between uh, 0 and 360. So we're going to do an if statement to check if it's 0 currently, then go ahead and change it to 360. And else we're going to say uh, switch it back to zero so this is we're creating a loop of changing values that can be animated if you run the app right now it um what well, it you should get an error because there's a question mark uh in the middle of the statement uh that shouldn't be there but if you get rid of any typos you may have made uh and run the app you should just see the same thing because we haven't added an animation so even though we are changing the values, we're not animating it. And the last thing we need here is an animation of type uh, linear uh, works best. So uh, if you do animation dot linear for a duration of, let's say, two seconds, and then you repeat that forever and prevent auto reverse, you will now have your spinner that you can use very easily within your apps. And this is it. This is the simplest spinner you can make. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, click subscribe and like and come back for more videos.